Hello and thank you for joining us here again today for some more fun and frolics, friendly chat and of course some crafty demos. My name is Ben Murray, I'm your host and you are watching of course The Craft Show. <music> joining us here at The Craft Show. We hope you're enjoying the show so far. The Craft Show is, of course, all about collaboration between crafters, where we're going to be bringing you some funky demos, some craft show quickies as well. And uh, we have a little bit of a giveaway for you on each show as well, which whatever our main guest makes, we'll be giving away to you. But you need to do something in return for us. I'll tell you about a bit about that a bit later on. Um, now, of course, we do broadcast online, not on the mainstream TV. That does mean you can watch the shows back whenever it's suitable for you. The real bonus, of course, is we're not selling anything here on The Craft Show, so you can enjoy it without being, uh, well, without putting your hand in your pocket. Anyway, so it's time to introduce our first guest, and uh, introduce you I will, because her name is a bit of a tongue twister for me. It is Amanda Villamea. Amanda, how are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. You? Yes, not bad, not bad. Did I get the name right? You did. I did get it right. That's but you good. did practice it quite a bit. All right. Don't, shh, don't tell everybody that. Don't tell everybody. <laughs> so, Amanda, you're here as our main guest today on The Craft Show. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Uh, we are, of course, at the Craft Centre in Bourne, which is our home and our set. Very big thank you to Alison Bunning there. You can look up her Facebook page and our website will be on the screen for you to click at any time. But less about that, a bit more about yourself. What Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your background in craft? Oh, gosh. I've been... My my, my mum was always sewing mm -hmm. when I was younger. The, you know, I, if I wasn't at drama rehearsals, I was watching my mum sewing. So I always had it as she was, as I was growing up, she was always sewing. And then um, I actually vowed that I would never do it. Right. Because she was always <laughs> sewing, making my own clothes. And then we, we laugh about it now because that's what I do as a full-time job. Um, but I started, I, I had my children and then I started doing stained glass windows, like okay. big, the big front doors and, oh, and, right. and things like that. Um, and then when my youngest child was born, yes, no, my oldest child, no, my youngest child. How many have I got? How, who are my? Um, Bring us some coffee. Yeah, please. Um, my my youngest <laughs> child it was when I was doing the stained glass, yes. and it just kind of became a little bit of a health thing and not uh, okay. conducive to children and glass, children yeah, and glass, children no, and glass. No, no, no. I understand. So I started making tie dye baby clothes. Okay. And then it kind of grew from there. Yeah. Um, people would say, "Oh, can you make me this?" And I go, "Well, I'll have a go." Yes. And then, can you make me this? And, yeah. and from from having a twenty pound sewing machine on my kitchen table, yes, it became it became my full time job. And so it's a full time business for yeah. you now. And yeah. where can we find your crafty makes? You can find them at jellybabies.co.uk. Okay. I used to do craft shows, but now because the website's so busy, yes, I tend to my my time is sort of more productively spent at home. Okay. Um, but I also sell on Etsy okay. and, and on Wow Thank You as well. But, Excellent. But predominantly my website. On your website. Yeah. Well, listen, don't worry if uh, if you... You don't need to worry about finding the website because what we're going to do is we're going to put a link to the website in the description below the video and also... Uh, if our um, editor feels like it, he's going to put a hyperlink on the screen. So you just click it and go straight there. We like that. We like that. <laughs> so um, without further ado, what is it that you're going to be creating for us today? What are we going to be learning? I'm going to show you how to make some bunting. And although okay. it's a, it, it's quite a basic thing, mm -hmm. but I thought it's, it's great for activities with kids in half yeah. term because it is really straightforward. And mm -hmm. you don't need a fancy pants sewing machine with, yes. with all computer stuff. You basically just need something with a forward and a back yeah. and an iron. Obviously, parents doing the ironing, not, not the little kids. Um, but it's, <laughs> it, that's what we're going to do. It, it's Excellent. nice for beginners and also for people um, who have problems with their hands because it's, it's, not too, it's not too tricky. Yes. It's quite nice and simple. Good. Okay, that sounds good. And we've got a bit of bunting just up behind us here. So we're going to be using a different fabric, but this is the kind of thing that we're going to be creating. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So what are we going to be needing? What materials and what tools? Right. You can use... The thing I like about bunting is you can use 
any type of fabric. It okay. doesn't have to be cotton. You can use hessian. You can use, if you're in a charity shop and you see a skirt that you like the fabric of, oh, get okay. that £2.50 skirt because you can cut it up. Um, some people use string mm -hmm. for the top of their bunting and then yeah. they fold over the triangles. Some people like to use ribbon. Yes. Um, people also like to use oilcloth. You can you can do it. If you want to have bunting outside, yes. then oilcloth is perfect. And it's really easy as well because you don't need to hem it. Yes. So you can just cut the shape. Really straightforward. Really straightforward. And a multitude of uses, like you said, whether it's perhaps for a kid's party. Yeah. Might be for a wedding. Yeah. Uh, the vintage tea party theme is very big All at of the that. moment. So it'd be great for that. Yeah. Excellent. And we just use offcuts. We don't need to be going buying fat no. quarters or... No. Or you, I mean... If, just use your offcuts. If, you've if you got want to a, use that, you can. Yeah. Yeah. It really doesn't take much fabric at all and okay. what I'm going to use today I'm going to use bias binding can you just pass me a little bit of that bias binding that uh, one that which one's that this any one? of them yeah is this any here? of them okay. you've got lots of different types of bias binding that you can use this is a really nice pretty one mm -hmm. um it's got the little the little thread on the back so this is a, a fancy one mm -hmm. um and then you can also use if you'd like to pass me the red one the red one okay this is the one that we're going to be using today it is it's about a centimeter but all you need to do is you just fold it over oh, like that, I and see. then I'll show you how to stick your stick your um, pennants in there. Mm -hmm. But there's all different types that you can get. You can get nice shiny ones. This is just a little bit that I'd used. I made my son some um, embroidered lunar cycle bunting, so I thought that was a bit, <laughs> bit flash. I like that. And then also you've got this lovely satin stuff as well. So you, you can really whatever fabrics you use, you can you can you know pick and choose your bunting to go to go with it and you can also there's a tool that you can get mm -hmm. where you can make your own bunting as well so if you okay. if you've picked a fabric yes and you want to keep the top of it the same yes you can make your own your own bias okay so, so so it all matches all, all goes together matches, yeah but it's i mean bunting is great it's so rustic you yes. know you can use hessian for weddings and stuff like that as well it doesn't even have to be for a special occasion you no, use no. to decorate bedrooms decorate outside oh, your garden everybody should have a little bit of bunting in their life shouldn't they really do you know what? I think you're right. I, I'm, I'm up for that. I, I think you're right. You we like should a little all have bit the, of bunting? We all like a bit of bunting. <laughs> we know you like a bit of bunting at home as and well. Also, it doesn't even have to be just inside. You can also do it outside as well. I've okay. got this fantastic stuff. It's Odicoat and it's a little, it's a little gel. And basically, do you want to pass me? Oh, let me have a little bit of that pirate okay. fabric there. Give us a bit of that pirate. If you want to use it outside mm -hmm. in your garden, but you can't find a nice oilcloth, because there isn't, oilcloth is, it's matte on one side, and then on yeah. the top side, it's the, um, it's waterproof. Treated or coated. Yeah, yeah. it's waterproof. Yeah. But if you... Is it if, more expensive as well, or... or not necessarily, so it's, it's just getting hold of it or getting, getting it in, the, in it. the fabric that you want. Yeah, okay. yeah. But this stuff is great because if you want bunting in the garden, but you wanted a certain theme, you can take any fabric. It, it can be cotton, mm -hmm. it can be polyester, whatever. But you just put a little bit of this on here. And that waterproofs it. And it waterproofs it. It um, You've got to obviously leave it to dry for quite a while and then give it a couple of coats. Me like but, that. Uh, I know, it's quite cool. Do you know what? I was wondering, I don't know if it's designed for that purpose, but that would be good on me fabric trainers. On your fabric trainers? Yeah, the Do fabric trainers. Do you run a lot in the rain? For those of you that know me when I'm standing up will know that I don't do a lot of running. But I do have some nice trainers and they do, um, they're sort of a suede thing and they do get a bit wet. Oh. So anyway, you I digress. You can take that home and Where can we get that then? Where do you find something like that? You can buy it on Amazon, mm -hmm. but I bought this from a website called Rainbow and Stitches. Rainbow and Stitches. Rainbow of Stitches. Rainbow of Stitches. I'll give you the link so you can... We'll put the link on the video so you can see that. Okay. Yeah. But leave it and then give it another coat. Give yeah. it about three coats and then it just, it waterproofs it. So it's, Brilliant. it's fantastic. It's really, really good. I like it. So okay. So outside bunting. That's good to know. That. That's good to know. Let right. me clear that out Take of your that way. Over there. Shove that That's over. it. Okay. Right. So... What we need, we need our fabric. Yes. We need our bias binding. We need our template. Mm -hmm. I feel I need to explain my manky template. Yeah, I was looking at your man manky template earlier and I, I thought, is she going to mention it? I know, it? I know. Um, this template I've had for like eight years, okay. ever since I started my business. It's the first one I cut and it's got, it's got my best friend's phone number on the back and I lost her four years ago to cancer. And oh. I just cannot get rid of it. Can't get rid of it. It's, it's just personal. one thing. So I've made loads of other ones. Yes. 
but they just, um, I always go back to that. You always go back to that one. Yeah, so. <laughs> when you've got something that works, what is it they say? If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. Don't fix it. All right, so. Yeah. To start with. So we've got a material, a template, and our Sharpie. You can have however many different combinations of fabrics you fancy. Okay. About a quarter of a metre is usually quite good. I've just done, I've started off cutting here. I'm going to make two metres of bunting today. Okay. So this is, I think this is about 16 centimetres across the top at 20 centimetres down. You okay. can have your pen, whatever size whatever you size like. Whatever size you want. Um, it's a good tried and tested size. Though, it's a it? tried and tested, it's that. It's this one. Yeah. Okay. So Excellent. all you need to do, pick a fabric that doesn't have a specific way that the design is okay because then you waste quite a lot of fabric yes you've got to make sure that if you have dogs they're up the right way yeah, yeah. or stripes or anything like or that or stripes yeah, yeah. so i've chosen fabrics that can be up you know you can cut it how it be fancy that makes sense Anna, i thought about that i've got a feeling she's done this before i've done this before so because you're drawing on the back of the fabric and we're going to put a back and turn it inside so it's all neat and tidy you don't see the inside I'm using a Sharpie, mm -hmm. but you can use a felt tip pen, you can use a biro, whatever, because you don't see it anyway. Okay. So I'm all for ease in my life, and this is this is good. And I like you not wasting any material. You waste none. Because of the shape and the way that you're lining those up. Yeah. No. So there you go. Good thinking, Batman. Oh, yeah. I did think of it all. Do you know what? Do you know what? Are you going to be able to squeeze that one in? I'm not that well at thinking. What about going the other way? Mm. Doesn't it quite fit? Mm. Shall we see if we can find a. Hey. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Thank you. So, let's <coughs> shove that one in there. You can use scissors to cut it. I have a cheeky little ah, roller. Yes. Um, Don't be cutting paper with that. No. It blunts them, doesn't it? It does. And scissors. And scissors. Stay away from, from scissors. the fabric scissors. Yes. You cut with my fabric scissors, I'll have you. I, I, I um, had a friend that um, uh, used to cut material with the material cutter. Yeah. And found her son opening boxes with it in the garage. Ooh, no. Don't, Don't do that. No. She was not a happy child. No, not good. Right, okay. So these are really brilliant rollers, actually. I'm not used to doing this sitting down. I usually have the weight of my body behind me. But for purposes of you know. So So is it are they uh, obviously they're fabric They're fabric rotary cutters yeah. or whatever you want yeah. to call them. And, and again using, available anywhere. Yeah, yeah, you can get them online, you can get them in haberdashery shops, craft shops. Are they cheap or expensive? Depends how technical you want to get. Oh, so they do different range, they do different grades of them. Different grades, yeah. I can't remember how much this one was. I've had it for quite a while. This is yeah. This is one that I've had from the beginning of the business. Oh, right. Oh, so they've got good life then. Yeah, because mm. you can just replace the blades. So, okay. do you know, I could be really mean and give you this job to do. Do you want me to do it? I'll do, do, it. do it. Do you want to give it a go? Go on. Okay. So I knew there was a reason I was here. Mind you, don't cut the table though. No. These are really good mats as well because they, they're self-healing mats. You cut on them. How do I open them? Right. That way. Yes. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed, yeah. Okay. Given away by the fact that it's in my right hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do I just push? Is just that it? Just push. Yeah, push down and push. Wow. Has it cut? Nearly. Yeah, it has. It has. Oh. I've yeah, got, go that's, on. Do a bit, a bit harder. Okay. Don't be afraid. Is that all right? Yeah. No, don't. Cause she, cause what she does make me look incompetent. Do you know what? Now. I forgot where I was. Yeah, I thought nice. I was with my children. Give me the scissors. <laughs> yeah, but I'm cutting it like your children. That's the problem. <laughs> right, hang so on. I'll talk you through this then. Okay. Go. So we've got. We're going to do five flags on this one, and then we'll do five flags on the other fabric as well. But what we're also going to do is we're going to mm. cut some backs as well, and you can use it on any scraps of fabric. How are you doing? This You're was right. supposed to be quicker. <laughs> It was supposed to be quicker, but it's not any quicker. It's doing really it's well. It's quicker if you've got somebody competent. We'll have to iron them. Um, but bunting can be really cheap because you can use scraps of stuff that you've got. If you've been making a skirt and you've just got a plain fabric, I'm desperately trying not to get involved here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, is it? Oh, no, you're fine. You're no, fine. We're doing all right. We're doing um, all right. So just a plain 
same template and then you can use it on the back because if you don't and you use your nice fabrics you kind of it works out more expensive and I'm <laughs> I'm all about being cheap sort of woman I like yep. yeah. she's done it oh. there we go you've done really well can I do the other one yeah I think you should because we're a bit we've got right. 40 minutes for the show okay. or something so not left either <laughs> just 40 minutes in general so, where's my template? I'll quickly wipe these through. <coughs> so it, yeah, I like, I do like bunting. I would have it in every room of the house, but I don't think um, it goes Mr. Anywhere, Jelly though. would approve. Mr. Jelly. Mr. Jelly. I like it. Or Listen, my... while you're doing that, actually, very quickly, yeah. because we have a little bit in the show, and this could be a good time to do it, but sorry to do it. Because when we started the show, we, we put a, a, a little note on our Facebook page, and we said, if there's any crafty people out there want to send us something with the craft show on, at the start of the show, be very grateful, and we had a good response. And just while you're doing that, I like I just I promised I would show them. So well, this is a good one actually. This one is from, from Dawn Brumfield. Hi Dawn, if you're watching, if you're not, why aren't you? And if you're not, you won't have loved this message. But um she's she did this uh, fantastic embroidery as well on a machine, free motion embroidery and and whatnot. Fantastic job. We like that very, very much. She wouldn't send us a picture though, she's gonna show and this is from Hannah Geddes. Here we go. And she did some Zentangle What's for that? us. Have you ever seen that before? You'll be seeing this on your screen now. Some Zentangle. And although I think that's technically a brand name. So it's, not, it's Zentangle-ish. And in fact, we've got them. Oh, just, I'm just, excuse me, leaning across you. There we go. Look. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so she's created all the bits, look. Oh. And then she's done another one there, look. So she's drawn all of this as she's well? She's drawn the whole, yeah, she did it oh from scratch. Gosh. And then you do the shapes. Yeah. And then you build up a pattern. Fantastic job. Thanks, Hannah. These are supposed to be really therapeutic, aren't they? They are very mindful, I think, is the... And do you know what? There's a there's a lot of... It's like the colouring. You know mm. the colouring books? Yeah. The adult colouring, which is very popular at the moment. Apparently, I was reading somewhere, there's a lot of... There are a lot of... Um, lawyers and surgeons uh, do between it. yeah because when they come off the I don't know if that's true if you're a surgeon or a lawyer let us know yeah how are we getting Send on us some yeah I'm all good it's really difficult doing it sitting down can you no yeah, mum fingers yeah that's right you've got ten Fine. so once we've done this I will do the um the lining as well okay lining it's not lining it's backing 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 lining this is really quite you can you can double up on your fabric thank you right. um, and if you're standing up it's, it's you can get through a few, yeah. a few pieces can't you? yeah like shift the chair. you've got a cushion on your chair aren't you? would you like my cushion no you have it <laughs> you've got to look after the talent haven't you oh. okay so Where's my template? Right, there we go. So I'll just do a couple of these as well. But yes, it's it's great because you can use your scraps. And if you you can always make a smaller template if your scraps aren't as big. But I've got so I've got so much stuff at home, off cuts and and things like that. But I I'm terrible. I can't I can't throw anything away. I'm a bit of a hoarder. Do you sell the bunting on your website? Yes, you make I it? do. Yeah, and I also do personalised bunting as well because I've got the. Big old fancy six needle embroidery machine. So I do oh, okay. a lot of personalised stuff. So you can put website. like um, each a letter for a yeah. word on each yeah. piece. So if somebody's having a party, you can put their name on it. Mm. That's good idea. Or happy fortieth, happy twenty first in my case, or whatever. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <coughs> How many of these have we got now? I don't know. You count those yeah. white ones for me. God, you put me to work today. Sorry. Well, the white ones, one, yes, two. Oh, that one's joined together there. Four, though, Tony. Should I snip that? Give it a snip. Yeah. Four. And then, do you want to know how we've got the other ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay. Exactly the right amount for me to count on two hands. If you Amazing. get a bit closer to that slicer. Oh, yeah. How many have I got now? I'm really oh. creative, but I'm not very good at counting. 
I don't know how many I counted. There was it four, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. eight. We need an extra one. Can I get one. another one out of there? Can I get another one? No, I don't think I can. Let's see. Can I get one out of there? Oh! I don't know. I don't it's within know. a match chuff. expression for a while. Do you know what? I think I could get away with that one. Yeah, you get away with that. So. We don't mind, do we? All right. So, let's get rid of all this scrappy, scrappy stuff. Okay. Cut there. And then is the easy bit. Yes. You take one of them and one of them. Mm-hmm. Face up. Yes. Put your white one on the top, and then you literally just sew down that way yep. and up that way with about half a centimetre away from the edge. Okay. And then what I tend to do, it, it, it all depends on you know how competent you are with a sewing machine, but I like this job because it is really simple. Okay, so if you're so, a beginner, this is a good thing to have a go with. Perfect. So you go down a little bit. Go backwards just to make sure it's all nice and secure. Okay. Then go all the way down the edge. This sewing machine is great because it's, I think it's the cheapest. Am I allowed to mention names? Yeah. It's the cheapest brother. I think it costs about £80. You can probably get them on on auction sites for cheaper but yes. it's just it's really simple so it was how much did you say i think it was 80 80 quid for brand new one so you can get brand them probably one. second and a bit cheaper oh yeah yeah and it's always great to look on your local free cycles as well yes because people people have a tendency to buy them with fabulous intentions in the and new year and then just go mm. and of course facebook have got that marketplace yeah, thing as well, and yeah. Look on there. so you can always pick one up really really cheaply yeah yeah. Right, do you know what? I feel we need a little bit of Benny Hill music so that I can quickly run through these and... Do you know what? We're allowed to mention brand names and all that sort of stuff. That's but no problem people. because uh, we don't have any ties to anybody, so we can say what we like. But we have a bit of copyright in terms of things like... Oh, so we can't and, use uh, And they might sue us for saying that. Okay. So, um, well, once you know what? You've got a few of these to do. Yeah. We don't need to see... Every one of these done, do we? Do you know what? I think it's. I'm feeling a bit parched. <gasps> Is it a cup of tea time? I think it's time for a crafty brew. I think we'll have a crafty brew. Steve, get a kettle on! It's time biscuit. for a crafty brew. I don't know if we're that lucky. But no. uh, we're going to have a crafty brew. And while we're having a crafty brew and we're finishing this off, why don't you check out our craft show quickie? How to create something really fun, simple, but really, really versatile. I'm going to be showing you how to use letter mash and make it into a wonderful creative art form. I shall be showing you with three different letters and I will obviously talk you through what essentials are required for creating these wonderful masterpieces. The essential tools required glue, a glue gun and glue for the gun. Do make sure that you keep this well away from children because glue guns can get very hot but you just need a very small, a small glue gun for this. Some embellishments, rabbits perhaps to represent Easter, to fit in with the seasons, scissors, Glitter that will need to be stuck down, glitter backdrops or wrapping paper, any recycled wrapping paper. It's a great opportunity to use up your recycled pieces. Double sided tape and if you wanted to give a great personal touch, I've got an array of personal pieces, a slightly more chic glittery finish letters and sparkles and some embossed gold letters there. My first 
letter will be using string. I want to create a, a rustic feel to my canvas and this is how it's done. So what you need to do first is wrap the string around all the way up to where you can see up to the, the end of the E, the, one of the E shapes just to measure how much string you're later going to use. But you mustn't stick it down. Just continue wrapping it round without any glue being there. Just this way you'll get a good feel of what length the string is required. So with the string we've previously cut, I'm now ready to start gluing and wrapping. So the first thing you need to do is to apply the glue right the way along the edge, as I have here. And then, immediately after, so that it doesn't dry, because it dries exceedingly fast, push in the string, press it to right to the side, making sure that you're not leaving any gaps. And apply the same technique on the other side. It's nice and smooth and flat as you wrap actually quite therapeutic. Continue all the way up just as we did previously. And that's how it's done. So here's my before and after. And I thought I might just add a little finishing touch just to create a bit of a personal feel to it. It's the perfect Mother's Day gift. And we're going to place age on there. Of course you can put her name somewhere and you can add all sorts of colourful embellishments to it any way you wish. That's the beauty of crafting with a letter match. And here is another example using a letter J and obviously this is perfect for the younger age group and I thought that a caterpillar, something in fitting with spring would be perfect. Again, with our lovely sparkly, glittery backdrop, you can of course use recycled paper here, so perhaps wrapping up paper that may have gone in the dustbin can make a wonderful backdrop to start with. And then you just add in your own flavour and theme and imaginative pieces, and this is what makes it such fun to achieve. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. And also, these can be used as bookshelf hold-ups or as a hanging decoration, not just as a gift. So, happy crafting! Oh, so just still finishing our crafty brew. I hope you enjoyed the craft show quickie uh, that you've just been watching. They're always good. Anyone that's interested in creating a craft show quickie for us, please do message us uh, on our Facebook page, The Craft Show TV on Facebook, and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, now, of course, you are watching The Craft Show, filming live in real time from the Craft Centre in Bourne. Big thank you to Alison Bunning for uh, loaning us her shop as a studio. And, of course, please do check out her web page, and you can find The Craft Centre Bourne on Facebook. Just have a little look for that. Now, before you went away to look at the craft show quickie, we were in the middle of making some bunting. And of course, in the studio, we have uh, Amanda Villamea. I, I keep getting her surname wrong because it's a bit of a tongue twister. I can see the brain going. <laughs> Amanda Villamea. Villamea! Okay, we've got it right now. So we're happy. So, Amanda, where were we up to with the bunting? I'd sewn them all. Okay. So they were still inside out, but what I've done now in the break, I've ironed them and pushed them through the other way, but I've left a couple so that I can show you exactly how we do it. And we give, we also give a little snip on the end there to make it nice and neat and tidy. So okay. I thought I'd you know, do yeah. that when we come back as well. Definitely. So, okay, so you turn it inside out. So what's the purpose of snipping the, the little bit off It the end? just gives it a nice crisp end. So okay. it's nice and pointy. So don't go too close to the stitching. Mm -hmm. You've got the stitching there. I would just not go too close, but just Perfect. cut it straight across like yep. that. And this is why it's okay to use whatever pen, the Sharpie. Get something nice and sharp. Oh, mm -hmm. Excuse oh. me, I'm losing my bits. It's destroying the studio now. 
get something nice and sharp. Mm -hmm. It can be um, the end of a paintbrush. It can be the end of a crochet hook. Okay. It could be a pencil. Yeah. And you just pop it down into the end and you push it all the way as far as you can go. Don't be too rough with it, otherwise you'll you'll end up with your thingy coming out the end. Yeah, don't poking it through. We don't want to do that. You no. should poke it all responsibly. Yes, yes. So we'll just chop that <laughs> off. Look. There we go. Okay. Off there, straight across. I like bunting because it's easy and it's quick. It is quick, isn't it? It is really, really quick. And it's really effective because it can just yes. change. It can it can brighten up. Yes, and you can use it for the decoration, general decoration, yeah, yeah. or special occasions, or personalise yeah, it. Or... Yeah, I made um, my when my when my son was young, he had a nautical bedroom, and I thought I'm going to have bunting all the way around the edge. Mm. So 18 metres of bunting later, I thought I actually wouldn't mind if I didn't see any more bunting <laughs> for a little while. But I've still got it. I suppose if your it. kids are into a particular theme as well, and they've got the themed duvets and the themed pillowcases yeah. and that sort of stuff, and you could get some material, you could do some themed bunting. Yeah, we've got a Harry Potter thing going on. Oh. Big on Harry Potter in our house. So that would, that would work really well. Really well. Really uh, well. Of course, if you're hanging up bunting in a child's room, make sure you hang it out of their reach. Yes, Very important. Definitely. Right. Okay. Should we iron these? Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> She's off. She's leaving me now. Hang on. Ah. Oh, blimey. They're after her. They're after her. So, so what you do? So you're gonna be doing some iron. Let's follow up and see what you're doing over there. Be very, very careful, especially with the steam iron. So just put your finger inside and flatten it all out. Doesn't matter about these little threads at the end because I'm gonna get my very beautiful assistant to chop them off in a minute for me. <laughs> she couldn't make it today. <laughs> but there you go. You see, it's a nice crisp, pointy end as well. So that's. This is the good thing about filming in a real environment, in mm. uh, you know, in a craft shop. This is a real life working craft shop, not open today. Yeah. Is you get crazy things like ambulances yes. going by in the all middle of the uh, the filming. All adds to the mood, doesn't it? It does yeah. all add to the mood. Right. Yeah. Do you want to grab a pennant? Okay. Flag. Yep. And then we'll just tidy up the end. So all you need to do is just give it a snip along the top. Oh, I see. Yeah, so sort of even it up. Even it up, get rid of any extra stitches, because when you turn it inside out, you get these little tiny triangles. So does it matter how far I cut down? Does it matter if I take the um, edge off all the way As little it? as possible. Okay. So you don't lose half your flag. Okay. So I'll just put through these. So we've got one. There you go, so okay. It just makes them easier for when they sit into the bias binding, it's all neat and tidy. Oh, I get you. Yeah. So I think this is a job even I can handle. <laughs> Getting threads everywhere. I don't generally leave the house without getting covered in threads or sellotape or, or something. I've usually got people picking at me wherever I go. <laughs> You've just got some thread on you. There, there we go. go. How are we doing? We're nearly there now. Okay. I hope I'm holding my own. Only just. You're doing well. And I've gone for red bias binding just because there's a little bit of red in all of them. But if you want to stay neutral, obviously you can use cream or white, it doesn't matter, whatever takes your fancy. And as we were saying earlier, you know, the vintage tea party sort of theme mm. is quite big at the moment for weddings, that kind of thing, and I've seen a lot of bunting at those kind of events. Yeah. It goes really nicely. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, so there's that. Tidy up as we go. Yeah. There we go. Would you like to pass me the red fire? Yes, I please? would. Okay. You can use... <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm taking oh. it off the roll just because you never you, you can never really be too sure how much you're going to need. Mm -hmm. So instead of cutting a three metre length and then finding you've got, you know, one more flag to use, then it's, it's best just to take it off the roll. So what I do, fold it over, mm -hmm. give yourself two inches on the end, pop it down and just start your stitching line off. Give it a little back stitch. Just remind us, what's the purpose of the back stitch? Because you did, I noticed you did that earlier. It just secures the end. Okay. It makes it nice. It's like doing a double knot. Oh, okay. So the, you're not going to have any problems with the thread uh, coming no. through and it coming apart. No, no, okay. no. So you take your little pennant and you pop it as far as you can go into there. All right. And then you just 
sew onto it, a little bit onto the flag, and then you can stick the rest of yours in. The wider the bias binding you've got, obviously the easier it's going to be. Sure. And can, you can buy that in different widths yeah, anyway, can yeah, you? Yeah, you can, it, yeah. I've got one at home. I was going to bring it, actually. Should have done. It's it's two and a half inches wide, so it's massive. Oh, right. Um, I'm not sure what you would use that for. I must ask my mum. She's the font of all sewing knowledge. So, take your second one, and I like to leave about a centimetre and a half in between each flag. Okay. That's closer than I thought, actually. I hadn't really noticed. I, yeah. For some reason, I had in my mind, maybe for easy maths, that you would leave one, put one, leave one, but that would be a bit gappy, wouldn't it? It would be a bit gappy. Yeah. So I much prefer your option. Thank you very much. So there we go. Let's, we'll just run through this really quickly. Have you made bunting before? I have had a go at bunting once before, yes. Yes? Yes. How did it go? Okay. <laughs> I can't commit to any more than that. It okay. went okay. I must admit, I didn't. I think I was doing some, um, some hand stitching. Not obviously at the, all along the top, but yeah. um, hand stitching. I'm not bad at that, you know. Hand stitching? Yeah. So in any clothes labels for school, isn't it? Uh, well, you we do that? Get, no. No. We've got those self adhesive Sticky ones. Sticky iron on. Yes. Yeah. I tell you what I do do though, because I do. I, not a lot of people know this, <laughs> but um, I do some kids' parties. All right. And I dress up as a pirate. Don't tell anyone. You need some pirate bunting, is what you need. Ooh. Well, like to, I was going to say I've got pirate pants. <laughs> well, not pirate pants. Pirate shorts. Oh right. And so I regularly have to re-stitch the patches yeah. back on and unfortunately the, the shorts are so old and weak now that even when I stitch the patches back on they're just going to You need a new pair of pants. I do, need. I need some new pants. Yeah. yeah. But I like the pirate bunting idea. Yeah, well you know where I am. Or you can product. make your own now, look. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, no, knowing as I know now that I can buy an 80 quid brand new brother machine, yeah. other makes are available as well, I might just have to do that. My mum's got a lovely machine. She's had it for years and years and years. And it's got, it, it's a computerised one. And it's got all these lovely fancy stitches on it. Okay. But to be honest, all you kind of, you just need a buttonhole maybe. And, um, and a front and forwards and back. And that's what For everyday really making, you don't yeah, need anything yeah. as elaborate as yeah. that. Yeah, no. I mean, it's great if, if a partner wants to buy you a nice fancy <coughs> sewing machine. Mother's very coming up. Um, and that's <laughs> sorry, sorry. What was no, that? No, 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 no. Um, that's brilliant. But you, you wouldn't you say really, no. No, no, I wouldn't say no. No. I've got a lovely embroidery machine actually that I, I treated myself to because when I started with this business, it was just normal front and back stitching and things, the baby blankets and stuff like that. Yeah. And then people were asking me if I could personalise stuff. So I treated myself to um, a little embroidery machine that was a, an embroidery and a, and a normal front and back stitch one as well. And it was brilliant, but it only had one needle and a lot of embroidery machine, uh, embroidery designs that I use have got about 10 different colored changes. Yeah. So, so you have to keep re-threading. You have to keep re-threading. Yeah. And I went to, um, you know, these big exhibitions, these stitch and craft exhibitions. Yes, yes. I went and I'd been going about two or three years and I'd been looking at this beautiful, beautiful, big stonking embroidery machine that I just loved. I thought, oh, one day, one day, if I win the lottery. And then I went one year and I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go for it. And I went for it. I don't blame you. And honestly, my business went off in, in completely different directions yeah. after having this one machine. Yeah. And it's like my fourth child, Big Bertha, I call her, but she's just brilliant. And did you have to remortgage the house to buy her? <clears throat> Yeah. Let's change the subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you know what? But if you're doing sort of free motion embroidery and that kind of thing, yeah, you can free motion embroider your own own um, pennants. Yeah. Can't you? And then again, oh, it's yeah. really personal as well. Yeah. If you've, you've got, got all sorts the of time, designs and stuff on it. Yeah. If you've got the time, then you can just make. I think sewing is fantastic because it's yes. so therapeutic. Yes. Um, I've got three businesses that I use different embroidery stuff, and um, it is, it's my therapy. I yes. go off into my little kind of man cave at the bottom of the garden, and yeah, and yeah it's brilliant. I just want to, same with the other end, you've got about an inch and a half, two inches on there. Do the same this side, cut it off, go to the end, backwards and forwards like you did before. All the way to the end, a little double back. And off, and you have 
Woohoo! We, we like that. We like that. There you go. It's so simple, there but really effective. And I love that all ages can do it. You can sit down with your with your kids in the half term summer holidays, and they've made something that they can keep forever. Yes. Or you can put it in a keepsake box, and you know. We like it. So there you go. We like it muchly. There's your bunting. Yes, very good indeed. And, you know, like you said, there's all sorts of things you can do. You can not only just use, the, you do some free motion embroidery, you can personalise yeah. it with letters. Yeah. Around the edge, you could put some lace or something around the edges, yeah. couldn't you? And, and some also, lace with edging. The, you've got the different sort of bias binding as well that you can the use. The binding, yeah. But also, if you don't have yeah. a fancy um, sewing machine at home, you can buy this stuff that you can iron onto the back of, um, of fabric so that you can cut out your letters, just draw your letters from yeah. the stencil or freehand or however you want to do it. And then you can iron it on these pennants as well. So yes. you don't have to have a, a no. again, an expensive thing. And do you know what else I like? You know, you were saying about you don't need a fancy machine to make something like this yeah. and, and, and how therapeutic the sewing is. It reminds me a little bit when you're doing something like sewing. If you're venturing into it and it's new, it's a bit like when you... When you venture and you want to play a musical instrument yeah. you can pick musical instruments like guitars and things you got to learn all the chords first yeah. and you pick something like the keyboard or the piano mm. even from the word go you can create something even if it's not brilliant yeah. that sounds or looks a bit like what it should do yeah. right from scratch yeah. you don't need to learn lots of background skills to mm -hmm. be able to do it you can just have a go and at the end you can make something yeah and i really like that yeah Fantastic. So if you've not been doing sewing, or you've not had a go at the sewing, have a go at that. Um, and as Amanda said, you know, you don't need an expensive machine to do that. And no. all the little remnants, offcuts you can use. Yeah, because you only need that that size fabric, you know, so you don't need to go and buy metres of expensive fabric. No. And what I also like as well is you can take clothing. Yes. That you've kept, yeah, and you can cut it down, and yeah. then you you make it into something new. I'm I'm all for reusing. One yes. of my other websites is upcycling stuff. So okay, so you can you can turn. That's the magic of sewing. You could turn something old, yes, into, into something, something new. new. I love it. Let's say that again together. Turn Some, something, something old into, into something, something new. new. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I mean, you could do it with jeans. If you've got some old jeans yeah, yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Um, or something that perhaps means something. Or baby clothes. Baby when your clothes, kids have grown out of the baby clothes. Baby clothes. Dad's old shirts. Yeah. Um, Wedding dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Better not do Maybe that. Maybe not that one. No. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Well, listen, we are... Uh, drastically running out of time. The time goes so quickly. Oh, no. When you're when, having fun. When you're having fun, you do some crafting. But before we go, um, I want to take a moment to mention some of the workshops, because what we did is we put a, a, a note on the page, on the Facebook page, to say if you've got any workshops or groups around, please send us in a photo, please tell us a little bit about it, and we'll mention them on the show. And we're doing that, uh, we're gonna do that today, if I can get this working. I'm not very techno technologically minded. Um, here we go. So first of all, I'm going to mention, we've got one in from America. Yeah, from Tammy Santana, if you're watching Tammy. Hiya! I love that Or name. should we say, what, what American opening could we say? Um, hi, y'all. Hi, all. No, we better not. We better stay away from that. And um, she sent us a, a picture of her group. Uh, and they're based, I think, in Florida. But we, you'll be able to have a little look um, uh, you'll see the picture come up in screen. There they are, all oh, enjoying a look. nice crafty session in the tropical uh, warm weather in the evening. And they often go to, um, where is she, here she is. They often go to um, unusual places. They've been to, uh, I think, a Disney hotel recently and then a bit of a crafting session over there. And their group is called the Planner Girls. And I did have to say to a plan, I don't, I don't, I don't have to message her and say, I've not heard that. And she sent me a little message back. She said, OMG. Down with the kids. We need to talk if you want to know more about the planning community. They are taking over the crafting world. I've never heard of it. Oh, but you will have, I think, in a minute. So she said it's basically scrapbooking, which has evolved into memory planning, um, because millennials don't want to be called scrapbookers. I think oh. they're too, too old. Sounds too old. Yeah. So planners and planning has taken over every aspect uh, of creativity, with just about every manufacturer addressing some aspect of the planning community. Um, whether it's use of uh, planners, planner kits, markers, whatever it is. And they're in America. So we do have some um, transatlantic... 
viewers, which is good as well. And they are called Planner Friends Events. And you can search for that on Facebook, Planner Friends Events. Do you have think fancy having a go at that, some planning? I do, because I'm not a great planner, as any of my friends will tell you. I've, I have a diary, I have a planner, I have a whiteboard. Yeah. All empty. And then I, no wonder, I wonder why I'm not in the places I'm supposed to be. At That's no <laughs> good. And then we've also got, because of course we're fil filming out of uh, uh, the Craft Centre in Bourne, Alison, uh, who owns the Craft Centre, she also has regular groups. Check out the Craft Centre in Bourne as well. Um, and she ha regularly holds um, needle felting workshops. And there's a picture of some of her ladies at one of the uh, oh, needle yeah. felting classes. So again, you can check that out online as well. Well, that's about all we've got time for, I think. Aww. It's a shame, but, you know, it's one of those things. We hope that you are enjoying the craft show so far. And uh, if you'd like to be a guest on the craft show, please do contact us. We're always interested in talking to new guests and seeing some new demonstrations. And don't forget, if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on the craft show, like our page, The Craft Show TV, on Facebook. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the video below. Yeah, that's it. And then you'll be notified and everything that's going on. Again, once more, thank you very much, Amanda, for oh, coming in. Pleasure. Shows. And you can just tell us what's your website again? Jellybabies.co.uk. Jelly with an I, not a Y. With an I, not a Y. You <laughs> heard it here first. That. Yeah, We like it. They like a bit of cheese. <laughs> and it'll be in the link below. Listen, it's been a great time and we hope to see you again very soon. Don't forget to tune in next time. Bye. Bye. Stop! We've forgotten something. I forgot, it's not your fault, it's my fault. Every show, we're doing a giveaway of the item that our crafty guest has made. And in this case, it's some beautiful bunting. If you would like to, uh, the opportunity to be sent the bunting that was made on the show, it's very simple. All you need to do is to share our Facebook page, which is The Craft Show TV. Share that amongst your friends and on your page, and we will pick somebody out at random, and we'll contact you, and we will send you this lovely bunting. Modelled so nicely. Mm. If you say so. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.